Hey, welcome back to our series on uh, Facebook interview questions according to Leak Code's most frequent questions. Um, so today we're tackling binary tree vertical oral traversal. Wow, it's a premium question. Uh, you should know this one. That's all I gotta say. Uh, given the root of a binary tree, return the vertical order traversal of its nodes values from top to bottom, column by column. If two nodes are the same row and column, the order should be from left to right. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is pretty much go with a BFS approach. Um, we need to group these up by column. So our key, we're gonna be making a map. So our key would be the column and our values that we're pushing will be the values with a column equal to that. So pretty straightforward, let's go ahead and jump in. So let our column map equals a new map. Uh, so we have that. We also need to make sure that we have a root. So if there is no root, we will return an empty array. And then we also need to keep track for output. Let our output equal an empty array as well. Um, and then I want to keep track of our left or right. That way we can loop through the column map knowing uh, the smallest column and the greatest column. So let left equal zero, let right equal zero. So left and right will be the, the limits to how far our columns go. To the left, it could be a negative number. To the right, it will be a positive number. Um, so we do that. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. And then we're going to implement a BFS approach. So basically, we'll go function BFS. And inside, we'll be passing uh, our root. So from there, what we want to do is create a queue. So uh, we'll go with let Q equal, what are we saying it's equal to? We're saying it's equal to uh, our root. And we're also going to be passing in the column value that it is uh, associated with. And then while we have a Q, what we want to do is go through, we say if, uh, so while q dot length sorry greater than zero, we're gonna get our level size first. Let level size equal to q dot length, and then here we'll go for let i equal zero. I is less than level size. I is incremented, and then we get our uh, our node and our column. So constant node comma column is equal to what? It's equal to our um, level, not level size, our Q dot shift. So we're getting the first element off. And then from there, uh, we'll need to get the current values associated with that uh, column. So we'll say let call vows is equal to our column map dot get, and we're getting our call. If nothing exists, we're gonna get an empty array. From there, what we wanna do is say uh, our call vows dot push, and we are pushing what? We are pushing our current node dot value. And then we need to reset it. So call map dot set. We are setting our column to our new call vows. And then what we want to do is push uh, these nodes. So if node dot left, what we want to do is say q u dot push, and we are pushing node a, an array of node dot left. And we also want to say column minus one. And then we'll do the same thing with node dot right. If node dot right, we want to say um, q dot push. And what are we pushing? We're pushing our node dot right. And we're moving over to the right in our column. So column plus one. And then, yeah. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we also need to update our left and our right. So left is equal to our math dot min, either left or column. 
And we need to get our right. So equals math.max of right or column. Pretty straightforward. And then we'll go through that. So that is creating our, uh, our map. And then what we do is we call BFS on our root. And then we'll go through our map. So for let i is equal to our left. This is our left limit. i is less than or equal to our right, our right limit. And then we increment our i. So then we say output dot push. And what are we pushing? We're pushing column map dot get the value at i, which represents our uh, all of our columns. Yeah. And then we will uh, return our output. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and run it. Make sure it works. It does work. Let's submit it. And we are pretty much in the middle. Now, this is probably a better way of doing it, but that's it for now. Uh, hope you learned something from today. If you have any questions, please post them below. I will try and answer you. Uh, yeah. And then, let's see. So BFS, this would be O of N going through every node. Uh, our space would be O of N because we're creating a map and we're also creating an output. So O of N, technically O of 2 N, but we can drop that down to O of N. And then our BFS is a uh, time complexity of O of N because we hit every single node in our um, our whole tree. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, post them below. I'll, I'll help you. Anyways, have a great day. Goodbye.